time to talk about some more Mario cartoons. It's only been about six years since I did that last. With the Mario Brothers and plumbing's a game, we're not like the others who get all the fame. If your sink is in trouble, you can call us on the double. We're faster than the others, you'll be hooked on the brothers. So there is nothing spookier for Halloween than the Super Mario Brothers Super Show! And it's kind of annoying DVD releases. And yes, I have two volume ones and twos of this show because they're not the same thing. I bought these so-called collector's editions of the Super Mario Brothers Super Show, mistakenly believing that I was purchasing the entire show, but no! These ones, annoyingly, have the live-action segments cut off. If you want to actually get most of the show, you have to track down the 2006 Shout Factory releases, which unfortunately are a bit more annoying to get these days compared to the cut-off 2012 and Circle sets. And this is a bit nitpicky, but these sets also annoy me with their lazy cover art clearly meant for other Mario cartoons. Like on the Volume 2, it shows Mario wearing the cape from Super Mario World, which has nothing to do with the Super Show, which was based around Mario 1 and 2. And bonus, on the back of that one, it shows the Koopa Kids, which of course didn't show up until Super Mario 3. And speaking of Super Mario 3, here's a wonderful cover. It's just a cropped in version of this same Mario art, which again has him wearing the cape from the wrong show. The Shout Factory release actually looked like Mario 3. Wow, that's insane. Anyway, enough of my stupid old Mario DVD. Rant. Our super scary Super Mario Super Show episode is Magician, where Harry Blackstone Jr. helps Luigi do some magic tricks. Ooh, magic spooky! I need work. Get out of here, Halloweeny. Oh, Mamma Mia! So like I kind of mentioned way back when I talked about the Christmas episode, the live action segments often don't really relate to the cartoon. As the animated segment on this episode is the much more Halloween appropriate Count Cupula. Though at least magic somewhat fits with the theme, but there were definitely live action segments filmed that would have fit a lot better. Guess they thought so too when they released Count Cupula on VHS because they switched out the live action surrounding bits with Vampire until Ready. Look at this. Harry Blackstone Jr. wrote back to me. If I'm ever passing through your neighborhood, I'll stop by to say hello. Wow, Mario, could you imagine that? That'll never happen. Blackstone! Oh yeah, take that, Mario! Everyone is here! Blackstone confirmed for Smash! Though, to really have everyone, we still need some of Mario's old buddies from this Korean Super Comboy commercial. So we still need, like, Buster Bunny, Raphael, Goku, Dragon Quest, and Secret of Mana characters, Super Short Gundam, Really Tall Krillin, and Disgusting Barefoot Yoshi. What kind of dinosaur doesn't wear boots? Have some decency, Yoshi! Stop going on tangents! Oh, why are you still here? Because everyone is here! Ugh, everyone is here, jokes old. But, but, you, you just, you, you, you stupid motherfucker! Hey, you get me demonetized and you won't be even getting crappy cameos like this, Halloweeny! I'll uh, see myself out. Well, I hope that made you happy. Or angry. Depends on how you feel about halloween -y. Also, speaking of Korean Mario, the Korean version of the Super Show actually had its own live-action segments with Korean actors. I, uh, don't really have much to say about it, but, uh, it exists. It's kind of interesting, right? How is your magic act going? 
Uh, I tell you, not so good, Blackstool. I need you to help me with my magic, otherwise I feel like things aren't gonna turn out so good for me. Anyway, Blackstone teaches Luigi the dark arts of jump cutting. Be careful how you use those magic words, because sometimes they can be a lot of problems. With great jump cuts comes great spaghettability. And that's how Luigi became Spider-Man, or something. Thomas Law, number 1014. We were traveling through a strange land called Turtlevania. Well, Turtlevania is fairly scary and all, but I don't think it quite tops the terror of... Pennsylvania. Oh, I'm freezing. When are we gonna find a place to sleep? Oh, sounds like the hypothermia is kicking in. Just enjoy your eternal nap, princess. This to be a motel around here somewhere. If you thought Hotel Mario was scary, you haven't witnessed the terror of Motel Mario. I love the weird continuity of these cartoons because Bowser, or just King Koopa because they never actually use the name Bowser in these, just takes all these different roles and jobs. Making these episodes all seem unrelated, yet Mario has his little poop joke plumber's log making this seem like a continuous journey. Plus, Mario and friends are still familiar with Bowser and such, so apparently sometime between this and the last episode where Koopa was Robocop, he got turned into a vampire. I'm guessing he was sired by the never-discussed Warts Feratu. Hey, if Warts a vampire, that'd work well with his hatred of vegetables. I do like what a weird point of time in Mario this was, too, with this cartoon combining all these Mario 2 enemies like Mauser and Tweeter with classic Mario enemies like Koopa Troopas and Goombas. Really makes me wish we'd see more Mario 2 stuff like this again. Those pesky plumbers are playing right into my fangs. Mario's not a plumber anymore! What? Oh wait, no, he is again. Well, that was pointless. Imausigor! Imausigor? That? That's kind of awkward, unlike Warts Feratu. And you, you vapid vampire! Uh, cow cupula, pot meat kettle. Go lure our victims into my castle. Well, if the tweeter's a vampire, why not just get to bite them now? Or is cupula being a sucky blood hog again? <laughs> I'm cold and wet and hungry, Mario. How about some spaghetti? It's my leftovers, Luigi! Gee, speaking of food hogs... Come on, Mario. There's these. Okay, but just one bite! Next episode, Mario Field loses his feet! The vampire tweeter, of course, comes to steal the much-coveted leftover spaghetti which Mario is willing to die for. I can't hold on! <laughs> It's not even fresh, Mario. Go hit a few coin blocks and buy some new spaghetti. Look where he's going. I'm not going in there. Yeah, Luigi would never go into creepy places to fight the supernatural. It looks like a boarding house for vampires. Come on, Luigi. Nobody believes in vampires anymore. This is real life, Luigi, where we have talking mushrooms as friends. Oh, we need rooms for the night. We got rooms you'll never forget. <laughs> Look at the p -p paintings Luigi just can't escape haunted paintings, I guess. What's behind door number three? Don't strain your brain, toad. <laughs> How'd you know my name? Who are you? <laughs> you mouser! Toad is truly the world's greatest detective for seeing past that disguise. Well, actually he didn't. You suck, Toad. <laughs> My snowboard! You know, I just remembered that I'm a mad bomber! I thought the Twitter bat stole your spaghetti. It did, but this is my spare ravioli! Glad Mario has TARDIS pockets for his doggy bag meals. Kinda like how Link can shrink down his gear and items, but Mario only does it for useless things. <laughs> Holy macaroni! Bang marks! Yeah, I wonder what left those. Tomato sauce sucking vampires! Let's get out of here! Well, unless your blood's spaghetti sauce, I think you're pretty safe.
Yeah, maybe Mario isn't safe. If only you could talk! Bug up, mushroom mouth! Oh yeah? How about a nose talk? I think when even the decor can't stand Toad, it really says something. It does! Doesn't it fail us? Oh, quiet, you! Yeah. Hold. Hey, guys! Vampires! No, guys, it's me! Ah, Toad! Wait, so it's just a flimsy door on the other side and the Mario Brothers never bothered to see if they could get out that way? Why's the door locked? Come on, princess! Let's split this spooky joint! Oh, jeez, Toad, figure out these easily escapable rooms before me? Never gonna live this one down. Welcome to the castle of Count Cupula. Dinner is served. And yours a main course. <laughs> I love Luigi's reaction to that. They're gonna eat us? Uh, what you gonna do? Luckily, Cupula is an idiot and just stands there posing at the doorway. Guess he forgot he doesn't need an invitation to enter rooms in his own castle. Into the clothes chute! It's our only way out! <laughs> Wait! Head to the furnace! I don't know why I assumed it was a clothing shoe! Into the garbage, flyboy! So if Toad was actually correct about the oddly placed pipe being a clothes shoe, why would they dump their clothes into the middle of the wine cellar? Wow, sniff it, spiders! This cartoon was way ahead of the game. Seriously, it took them till Mario 64 to have a spider-like enemy. And speaking of ahead of the game, Princess Peach Toadstool picks up a piranha plant and uses it against the other enemies. I can't believe that Nintendo got all their ideas for later games from the Super Mario Brothers Super Show. What's this? Marinara Chateau Coupla, 1989. Hey, 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 it's tomato sauce! I know Mario loves his pasta to an unhealthy degree, but why does Bowser have a wine cellar of tomato sauce? Does he think that'll just lure Mario in like a moth to the flame? Well... Guess it worked. Now perhaps the most amazing part of this episode happens when Count Cupula has a bunch of were Koopas that transform at the full moon. Guess Mario beats Sonic to the whole wear thing. Now, as amazing as this scene is, wouldn't it be better with a thriller cover playing? I command you, behold the full moon! Hey, she's turning them into we're turtles! Yeah, originally the scene was set to Thriller, which makes it about 10 times as amazing, but they replaced the spaghetti crap out of it for the DVD release because of super fun music licensing rights. Naughty Turtle, you've been hitting the sauce again! You make me hit the sauce, Toad! Though I do appreciate the drinking joke. Those Goombas look kinda spaced out to me! Uh, how exactly do you tell the difference with Goombas? They just kind of shimmer towards you like a zombie anyway. Though, if Koopa has zombie Goombas at his disposal, he's a fool not to use them more often. That's way more dangerous. Also, he's a fool to only use them for spaghetti sauce manufacturing. <laughs> Mario, that was a real Coulier Vankman moment. You'll never take me alive, coppers. Whoops! I'm taking you to Count Cupula's torture chamber. <laughs> Say ciao to your friends, Princess Toadstool. <laughs> That's goodbye in Italian. Holy crap! Bowser is waterboarding Mario! Well, that escalated quickly. Mamma mia! It's actually really funny that he's using legit forms of torture on all of them here. I mean, Luigi's comes off the most comedic since it's tickle torture, but that is still a legit torture method. Who knew the gritty reboot of Mario had already happened in 1989? You'll be a tomato sauce sucking vampire just like me! <laughs> 
I know I probably shouldn't be wanting this, but please show us Bowser siring Princess Peach! Mauser breaks the torture rack trying to put Toad out of our misery. Guess he wasn't paying attention to Toad's elasticity earlier. And that somehow means they're all free, even though Toad's feet were still bound. It's time to initiate you into the loyal brotherhood of tomato sauce vampires. Brotherhood? But I'm a girl! That's her only objection? Or does Princess Toad still think he'll give up because of the technicality? Well, sounds like she's fine. Let's go! Vampires hate garlic! Good thinking, Toad! Naturally, Mario has garlic in his hot pockets, and instead of just using it on Count Cupula, he decides they should just eat raw garlic and then breathe it at him. Because if you dilute it, it's more powerful. <laughs> Oops, I forgot. Seriously though, wouldn't have flying into the sunlight killed him? And of course, he was a load-bearing Bowser, so his castle disintegrates when he leaves. This Mario cartoon is highly unrealistic. Anyway, back to Luigi and his fun with the dark arts. Luigi, you gotta stop making things disappear. Soon there won't be anything left. And that's when Luigi realized he had lived long enough to see himself become the villain. And he is okay with that. Oh yeah, what if I make you disappear, eh? Wow, so this show not only had Mario getting waterboarded, but now Luigi is threatening to have Mario whacked? How is this ever a show for children? Go ahead, let me see you do it. Ho, 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 ho. Mario? Well now, levels? Invisible Mario? Ugh, that's the worst power-up they ever added. Invisible Mario, by the way, was the nickname for this back in the day. The pirate copies of Japanese Mario 2 that were floating around rental stores and stuff. Good for you, Luigi, you let it disappear. Now make me reinvent. I'll tell you the truth, Mario, I, I never bothered to learn how to make things uh, come back. What? Mario! Nah, yeah, that'd be silly. Instead, something serious happens, with Mario's logo head flying around and smacking Luigi. Well, forget the waterboarding, that's the roughest thing we've seen yet. Oh crap. <laughs> well, it's time for Magic to meet the road, so we can move on to the best Halloween-y live-action segment, Slime Busters! Can't believe the Ghostbusters-themed episode would interest me. So despite them calling this Slime Busters and them having slimy little props to battle, the Mario Brothers still call these things ghosts. Keep the ghost busy, Luigi! I got him! I got him! Don't worry about it! He's got me! Who you gonna call? The Vacuum Repair Shop? Man, I already referenced Luigi's Mansion. Why am I doing it again? Jeez, and I thought Ecto was in rough shape at the beginning of Ghostbusters. Ernie Hudson! Wait, so like in real life Ernie Hudson catches ghosts? Thank goodness you're here! Where are the other slime busters? Oh, we heard it was you. I lost the toss of the coin. I also lost the rights to Ghostbusters on that coin flip. But I can't believe they didn't get the whole cast out for the Mario show. Yes, truly a shocker. This place is an ectoplastic disaster area. I sure hope it's recycled ectoplastic. This ain't gonna be pretty. There's something really weird about Ernie Hudson's knockoff Ghostbusters proton pack still having the correct sound effects. Oh, this is weird. Give it your best shot, Ernie. Well, at least sometimes it has the right sound effects. But speaking of weird, let's just think about what's going on here. Ernie Hudson is playing a knockoff version of himself with Super Mario. Ha <laughs> ha! I love this show! Hey, I'm not back in 10 minutes. The diamond meter. It takes a quarter now, my man. The Slime Busters segments originally wrapped around the Legend of Zelda cartoon, The Ringer, which has nothing to do with Halloween, so here's the gist. Excuse me, princess. There's no sign of that ghost anywhere. Mm. 
uh, maybe one for bite to eat. This is my favorite dish. <laughs> Please tell me Jedi's. A possessed Luigi? Looks like someone got the bad ending on Luigi's Mansion beta. I can mention Luigi's Mansion yet again if it's beta. Wanna wrestle? Mario's a shrooms in World 8! Bite your tongue, Luigi! This triple ricochet is a one in a million shot. It'll either drive that ghost from Luigi's body, or it'll turn him into a drooling, moronic zombie forever. Give it your best shot, Ernie! Got it! Got it! Well, looks like it didn't work. Oh well, do the Mario! The Super Mario Brothers Super Show is quite silly, but you can tell Lou Albano and Danny Wells were having fun with it. There's still some jokes at land, and it can be quite entertaining despite how goofy it can be. It really is funny that before Luigi became an off-brand Ghostbuster, that he got proton zapped by a real Ghostbuster playing an off-brand Ghostbuster. So, until next time, everybody! <laughs> Do the Murray! No! I don't like this movie, it doesn't look too friendly. This movie is so fake, the toy is gonna break. Fade and start at me down, you need to be around Grab that chocolate pizza, I leave her like it cause I want Failers so famous, bring on mortal comedy Failers so famous, and animation movies Failers so famous, what who really is so fun Failers so famous, what's your opinion about? If that's it, I'm going back to bed.